The Hulk, Two Face, two very iconic superhero and supervillain. They were based on this one really, really old book that I think we all know the name of, or at least heard of once. You saw the title. Hello, fellow book questers! It is Iron the Book Questers. So today I have this classic gothic novel, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, by Robert Louis Stevenson himself. And well, let's get right on to it. So, basically, let's start with the plot. I think everybody knows this, but you know, just in case. So, there's a guy named Dr. Jekyll, and he has this impulse to do bad things that is not worthy of a man of his stature. He's a nice guy, he has friends, he invites people to his dinners, he's a perfect English gentleman, at least from the outside. And basically, he decides he becomes obsessed with the idea that he could split his personality into two, into good and bad. So he managed to manufacture a potion that does that, and when he feels that impulse to do something bad, he drinks that potion and becomes Mr. Hyde. And when he's Mr. Hyde, he's not recogniz recognizable as Dr. Jekyll. So he drinks that potion, he becomes Mr. Hyde, he does all that mean things he wants to do as, as himself, and then he comes back to good old Dr. Jekyll. But then things begin to go wrong. Mr. Hyde begins to change into Dr. Jekyll and take over his body, even without Dr. Jekyll taking the potion down. And that means that Dr. Jekyll now has to use the potion very, very regularly, even just to keep his consciousness alive and to keep Dr. I mean, Mr. Hyde at bay. And then finally, overwhelmed and knowing that by the end of the hour, Dr. Hyde why Mr. Hyde would take over, and he could never change back into Dr. Jekyll again. He drank the potion. I mean, he killed himself. And that's the end of the story, and the book itself is of course narrated by a friend of Dr. Jekyll's, kind of like, you know, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, you know, Dr. Watson narrates the story, and that is pretty much the plot. Now, let's talk about the Hulk and Two-Face. Now, those are very two very literal adaptations of the, doc the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The Hulk and do Dr. Bruce Banner are very, very big opposites. The thing is, Dr. Bruce Banner is a very shy and not a very good at fighting. He's smart, he uses his brains more than his fists. The Hulk, meanwhile, uses his fists before he even thinks. And he's not very gentle, is he? or shy for that matter, and they're complete opposites and they always fight to try to take over the body, and that in that way is very very similar to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. But meanwhile, the Hulk is kind of capable of doing good. He isn't completely 100% evil, he is, he could be good, he just needs to be taught to be good, he just needs some self-restraint, so yeah. It's different in that way, but I think that's a cool adaptation. And Two-Face, as we all know, there's a good side, there's a bad side, also very literal since this bad side literally is scarred and the good side is normal. Yeah. And now, let's talk about the more newer and more well-known adaptations that is so fresh and not as literal as the Hulk and Two-Face. I think you heard of this name once or twice in your life. In fact, if you haven't, you've been living under a rock because this book, this trilogy, has been around for a while. Don't you think? The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, The Return of the Kings, The Lord of the Rings. Now, this book has been around for a while, and the entire book series is based on the ring kind of knowing it tries to make you do bad things, and it like, tempts you. It's temptation itself, almost, the ring. And it's basically about the fight between humanity's evil, the humanity's fall, humanity's bad side of humanity, and their good side, their loyalness, their, um, their friendship, that, that, that's what's fighting, and that's what's in play in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. In fact, the entire trilogy wouldn't even have happened if Isildur, the original guy who cut off Sauron's finger and got the ring, had just tossed it in the lava and 
you know, got, didn't get tempted and warded off to temptation. So I think that's a really, really fresh adaptation of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It isn't half as literal, but it's also very, very great. And of course, an, a, another theme in here is a little bit bibli biblical, I guess, because it's kind of about God via Satan kind of feeling there, because they literally say, he has the mark of Satan on his head, when on his face, when they were um, describing Hyde. And, well, something among, among those lines anyway. And, well, yeah, because S Satan is the one who kind of rejects the idea that God created them, or something like that, and he got kicked out of heaven. So, that's pretty much it. And it's kind of like pride and all that, all that sin and everything. And that's kind of what Doc, Mr. Hyde is made of. He's a sinful man. He's a man who rejected his good side. It's just a pure manifestation of pure evil. And yeah, that is pretty much it. And also, if you had that magical potion without the side effect of, you know, your bad side potentially taking over, if you had that potion, if you, would you drink it or not? And if so, if you drink it and your bad side comes over and he kills someone, should you go to prison because of what your bad side did? What do you think? Write it down in the comment section below. And like always, your book quester are in the book quester. Fun fact, Lewis, Robert Louis Stevenson, he also wrote another famous classic that I immensely enjoy, Treasure Island. And if you haven't read either of these books, well, you've really been living under a hole for around a couple centuries as well. So you definitely should read these books. Classics are boring. Yours, you couldn't be more wrong. Well, some classics are, I mean. No offense, Shakespeare, but are you sure you wrote that thing in English?